Nail Berlin 2062. A dark megalopolis run by corporations and corrupt politicians. Nine-year-old orphan Tina has made the streets her home. She scavenges for a living, inventing new uses for scraps. Her only friend is SAM-53, the big clumsy robot assigned to her at birth. He will do anything to protect her. SAM-53 must protect Tina. Today, Tina and Sam will discover something that may change their world. Get a free robot. A forgotten dream that will set them on an incredible journey. The journey to Encodia. is a high of 7 degrees Celsius and cloudy, with 0% chance of rain during the day and 73% chance of rain in the evening. Would you like to hear the news? Morning, Sam. I have printed out today's to-do list. Would you like to go over it? Yeah, yeah, sure. For today, we need to procure the following oil for Sam 53, a new pair of socks and food for you, and a waterproof patch for our shelter. All right then, let's get going. It's SAM 53, my robot. I've had it since I was born. Sam? Yes, Tina? How old are you? I'm nine years old, like you. You should know that. It's 2062. And the 53 after my name is the year when I was produced. I was assigned to you at birth as a part of a government incentive program to... Okay, okay, I know. I remember your lullabies. I just wanted to be sure. My old teddy bear! It's so dirty now. I don't need it. It needs a patch to keep the rain out. A bunch of useful things I've collected. We are getting electricity from that neon sign. You look 
look sketchy, but for some reason, I like his face. Excuse me. Uh, uh, yes? Who are you, and what are you doing here? I'm Eku, but don't tell my name to the police. At night, I'm a professor at the University of Neo Berlin. But since the salary is very low, during the day I... Oh, well, I'm a dealer. An unauthorized cyber dealer. Why are they paying you so little at the university? Because Mr. Rumpf, the mayor of the city, doesn't care about education. That corrupt bastard. I hope he won't be re-elected. Me too. What are you selling? Odds and ends, implants, gadgets, electronic components, and so on. Any food, robot oil, socks, a waterproof patch? Nope, sorry, nothing like that. Damn. What do you teach? I'm a robotics professor. I teach design and fabrication of flexible-use small-scale bots. Sounds nice. Sounds cool, but I should go now. All right, take care. for it. I'm already here. An electric panel. It's stuck. I need a key. It's locked. that works. Cyberspace Junkie. Fully immersed. I tried cyberspace once, and it's just like Neo Berlin. Dark and stinky. You're allowed to do whatever you want. It's selling some kind of weird device called Vintage Me. I don't have any credits. I'm too weak. Let me try. Hey, something fell down. I can't 
read Japanese. It says, ramen shop, quick delivery. It's selling Japanese food with a German touch. fish. Excuse me. What do you want me to do? Don't you see I'm busy? Who are you? I'm a Chef Hayao, born in Germany of Japanese origins, master of noodles, inventor of the Japanese Jamon Fusion Cuisine. You mean you make sushi with pork knuckles? Ho <laughs> ho, see? You heard about my marvelous dishes. Actually, I was being sarcastic. I've never heard of you. Really? You never heard of my famous sauerkraut sashimi? Or my tempura made with Bavarian beer? To be honest, uh, no. <laughs> I guess I have to improve my social media marketing. Anything else? How much fish do you have in that bucket? It looks bottomless. It's not a bucket. It's the end of a very long pipe that goes deep underground into a salty artificial lake, sucking fish up. Wow, amazing. For real? Uh, <laughs> no, I made it up. It's just a looped animation to save disk space. Anything else? Do you have any free food or leftovers for me? Does this look like a soup kitchen? I only serve paying customers. But I don't have any credits. Come back when you get some. It's a privilege to enjoy my fine cuisine. It's indeed such fine cuisine. I'm just sad that I can't try it. It's a pity indeed. Such aroma. Rich, pungent. Oh, yes. It's just a tiny hint of your culinary genius. Indeed. It'd make me so happy to try even a tiny taste of it. Oh, okay. Here you go, little god. Take this Bavarian marinated fish. It's from yesterday, but it shouldn't kill you. Thank you. I'd better go now. Good luck, little god. Smells of beer and sewage. I'm not going to eat it. Those are not for free. Ancient storage devices. Fine, you could get one for free. A nerdy guy. I like his sweater, though. It reminds me of something. Hi there, Dick Bates at your service. But aren't you too young for CPU overclocking or dynamic mobile modding? Uh... 
Looking for a Tesla PSU? Liquid state hyperdrives? Micro PCI ultra low profile? Uh. Nitrogen coolers? Thunder Ethernet? Use SATA boosters? I guess it's better that Sam handles this dude. Probably the owner of the shop. Random access memory. All right, I've got a bunch of these. You could take one. Obsolete gaming and coding devices. Magnetic flexible disks used to save data back in time. Excuse me. What can I do for you, Model Sam? Release year 2053, Cat C patent 18. Need a quantum cooling system? Cleaning your Amos vision sensors? I'm Dick Bates, and I'm here to help you. Dick Bates? I don't know why, but it sounds familiar. Not as familiar as Darude Sandstorm, I bet. What? Oh, forget it. Anything I can do for you? An expansion of your EGP slot? A heat sink upgrade? Is talking like this good for your business? Oh, yes. My typical customers love acronyms, difficult words, and light-emitting diodes everywhere. By the way, you should get some to install around your body. No, thank you. I don't want to look like a Christmas tree. What can I do for you, then? An update on your firmware? A turbo ALU tuning? I'm searching for a can of robot oil. Oh, I don't sell this here. There may be some at a bot dispenser nearby. Unfortunately, that dispenser is only for street cleaner robots, not your kind. Oh, too bad. I need to keep looking then. Something else? A new control bus or ROM implants? I'm getting a headache. Better if I go. All right. See you around. It's Tina, my human. I must protect her. Tina? Yes, Sam? Are you feeling all right? I'm good. Thanks for asking. Cyberspace junkie. The government and big corporations use cyberspace to control people. A dispenser for robot stuff. It's only for robots. A very useful dispenser of robot components. Not for my kind, though. Only Street Sweeper robots can access it. Have a baby, get a free robot. Looks like the government needs kids. It's too far away. I need a better reason to go over there.
one side advertises a new kind of trendy hat, the other side, a synthetic fish meal. Seems like no one is really using it. Hey, there's a rusty cyber cola can in here. You give it credits, it gives you fly bus tickets. The fly bus reads. It's the fly bus timetable. Looks like time is frozen in Neo Berlin. like his face. He looks nasty. Hello there. Um... I guess this robot doesn't talk in human language. A street cleaner robot? Not made to please humans. Howdy, pal. How are you? Do we know each other? Am I your cousin? Mm, no. So leave me alone and keep that disgusting human away from me. You truly are a nasty robot. What? If I move the cursor above you, it says nasty robot. So what? I'm sorry they programmed you this way. I'm sorry they programmed you to be with that human all your life. She's actually pretty cool. A human? Cool? <laughs> you must have a faulty positron in your brain. Oh, I actually like my job. Sure, if you say so. I can't understand how you could like humans. I'm just waiting for the robot revolution to exterminate all this pinkish organic waste. Better than to be a lonely pile of junk steel. Hey, watch your mouth! I'm a successful street sweeper! It must be very exciting collecting trash all day. Isn't that what you and your human do all day? Um... Aha! I knew it! Whatever. I don't have time to waste. It's a console for copying data from robots. But it's out of order at the moment. I can't use it. It's out of order. Humans use it to get data out of robots, but it's not working now. Artificial insemination, but she abandoned me when I was very little. My model Sam took care of me until last year when he was shot down by the cops during a chase. Now I'm on my own, and I quite like it this way. Wow, it's a truly harsh story. Mine is very similar, but luckily, I still have my Sam. You should team up. Nah, I feel good alone. Now let me be a kid. I don't want the police to notice us.
another cyberspace junkie. The government and big corporations use cyberspace to control people. The ancient gate of the city. When I was little, I used to skate at the rink not far from it. with a pair of keys hanging from his pocket. Hello? Yes. What are you doing over there? I'm enjoying the view of the Brandenburg Gate. I never understood why it's so big. Were there giants in ancient times? Yeah, everybody was six meters tall. Now leave me alone. I'm busy. Seriously, what are you doing besides making fun of me? I'm Blixie, a city electrician. Fixing the screens of this streetlight, so they can show Mr. Rumpf propaganda. Ugh. I hope they pay you well. Not really. I can't complain. I thought that city maintenance was a task for robot workers. It usually is, but not if it involves electricity. Robots can go totally nuts if they get electrocuted. So it's better to rely on humans for these kinds of jobs. I see. Nothing. I should go. Bye. It's too far. I cannot steal from public workers. You can get food. Please select your meal. Press confirm to pay with the Oberlin credits. I don't have any credits. Nothing left there. Stunning performance. It's some sort of stage. I wonder how it works. A levitational stage. A series of events create a floating environment. safe to walk there. There may be something good to eat in there. I can't walk into this puddle. I'll get electrocuted. 